Today we are doing just kind of like a chill, no studio lighting, front of the window kind of video today. I just wanted to sit down and just kind of relax. Sometimes setting up lighting can be such a hassle and you feel like super claustrophobic in your room or in your like setup. So just filming in front of the window, it's just nice to relax and you know, spice it up on my channel. So today we are talking about boxy charm and what I got this month, what I think about it. So if you are interested in working with this palette, seeing my thoughts and recreating this amazing glossy glowy look, make sure to keep on watching. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to give the studio lighting a little bit of a break and just kind of take a more chill approach. So today we're gonna be diving into the BoxyCharm box. I feel like this box had a nice variation of makeup. It had the palette, the brushes, and the lip gloss. The wipes are really, really nice, but realistically, I feel like the $17, $18 price point for just a little pack of wipes like hurts my heart and so I'm like scared to use them but I'm gonna use them. So today we're gonna be going in with this palette. It is a very nice natural palette. The whole theme for this month is um, natural so they got bamboo and these are really nice as well. I'm thinking we're gonna kind of do a neutral-ish look. We have four metallics or shimmers and then you have two matte i wish they would have given me like a mid-tone matte so that i could put in the crease but we're gonna work with it so i'm gonna go ahead and go in with my bronzer just to lay down in the crease because i do not have a crease shade i'm thinking i'm gonna go in with that green and then maybe do like a blue in the bottom i really don't know where this is going so just as i'm working with the palette it doesn't smell like anything for me smell is just it's a big thing. I had to get rid of other palette. The festival palette smelled like old talco. I don't know, like just this ugly, ugly smell and I cannot deal. So first I'm gonna just lay down the shade with my brush and then we'll see if I'm gonna go in with a setting spray. I didn't do a cut crease today. Maybe I should have. Go ahead and use my setting spray. And I do a rounded eye. I just like to like go ahead and make sure that the edges are clean. Almost like a cut crease. Next I'm gonna go in with that dark brown and just kind of lay it down on the outer edges. I'm gonna go ahead and use Enchantress in the inner corner. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and finish off the eyes. I'm gonna go with that blue. It is a not my favorite by itself. I think if I went in with an eyeliner and maybe use this to seal the eyeliner, I would get more of that blue I'm looking for. It kind of looks just dusty and faded and I'm not into it. Alright, so lastly, I'm going to go in with this tone right here. It's called Queen. All 
Alright guys, that wraps up the look. This is definitely different because I'm used to my studio lighting and I know it throughout the video. Light kept going in and out, but it's okay because it's a chill video. The so final thoughts over this BoxyCharm box. The Butter London palette is nice overall. I just feel like I was expecting a little bit more of a bang with the foils and the metallics and I felt like after I wet the brush, it was just a nice color, not a wow color but I mean overall this is a nice palette Luxie brushes in general are amazing so if you can subscribe you can slowly start to build up your brushes these are really good quality and I really enjoyed that lastly this gloss by itself is a nice tone of brown with a little bit of a golden sparkle I have worn this by itself and it's not overwhelming but you can see a nice wash of color and on top of a matte lip is really nice as well I'm super interested in trying out these superfood vital veggie mask veggie mask um it sounds really scary and exciting at the same time so, so i will try this out and let you know on my snap if you're not following me make sure you do and i heard kathleen lights talk about these uh cleansing spa water wipes now these are 17 18 dollars and they come with they come with 10 cloths now, $17, $18, I mean, unless they're going to give me, unless they're going to rejuvenate my skin and plump me up, I will not be reaching for this to take off my makeup or for my regular day use. Maybe on a special occasion where I just want to, you know, take care of my face and wipe it down. This is going to be the thing, but I will not be purchasing these myself, not just yet. We're not at that level of budget yet. Lastly, I want to talk about this fan because I've seen everyone have one and I recently got it. I was walking through Walmart and I saw it and I had to have it. So for $5, you get three speeds. One, two, and three. So if you are at a Walmart or you can hop on on Amazon or walmart.com, these are $5. I saw black, white, and like a purpley lilac tone, but these are a lifesaver because I used to go in with the fan and it broke, so. These are cool and it has a rechargeable uh, plug-in. So that pretty much wraps up this video. I am loving the light at this particular moment, but um, I probably will jump back onto studio lighting. But today was just kind of like a relax, get ready with me to go nowhere. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. Also, since you're here, make sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any future uploads. If you'd like for me to review a certain product or recreate a certain look using color, be sure to comment in the section below. We will be starting to do lives on a Hundred Hair Cosmetics page and my personal makeup artist page. We will start to do giveaways on Facebook Live, so definitely make sure that you are also following me on Facebook so that you can have a chance to win in our giveaway. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.